Yo, what's up? Welcome to Waka Flaka Explain. Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, yellow trinket versus red trinket as Twitch jungle. But before I begin, I hope you guys are having a good morning, evening, night, whichever one fits shit like that. So, okay. And also, just quick note. I'm having a giveaway currently, and I will be having a giveaway going on forward. All you have to do is watch my stream, clip clip a funny moment, post it in my Discord server, you'll find the channel there, and then you automatically enter the competition in where you can either win $5 worth of RP or 10 depending if you're subbed or not. Obviously, not subbed will be 5 and subbed will be 10 But okay, let's start. So... The point of both of these trinkets as Twitch jungle is to prevent people from entering your jungle, okay? So there's pros and cons to both of these. However, personally, I prefer the red one, but I'll get into that later. Mostly, as another jungler, you're going to get a red trinket, and then you're going to use that to gank, right? So you're going to have red trinket as an example, and you're going to go here, and then you'll sweep, making sure that these pushes are not warded when you're ward entering top side or as an example what side you want this push here or alternatively the tri brush here and then you make sure that the enemy won't be able to spoil you when you go to gank them however with twitch it's a bit different because with twitch you have your camouflage which bypasses this meaning that you don't have to think about this and obviously you guys are twitch mains too so you know that already However, I'm just explaining it anyway. That means that you don't have to do these things here, right? So the only thing you have to think about is your jungle. I'm going to swap my screen after. But first, I'm going to just go through the pros and cons of each, okay? So the pros, obviously, with the yellow trinket is that you get vision and you are able to spot the enemy. However, the cons of this one is that you cannot prevent the enemy from spotting you, okay? And the pros of the red one is that you can prevent the enemy from spotting you, but you cannot pre you cannot see the enemy coming. And this is obviously very obvious, yeah. Okay. And then, thirdly, you have the control ward, which is one of the reasons why I am lean more into the, towards the sweeper as opposed to the yellow one, because I am able to ward the necessary areas, okay. And just so it's said, the reason I'm making this to begin with is because of my coaching video, uh, last time I mentioned why you shouldn't sweep, and now I'm talking about the trinkets overall. Because I feel like there's still like some lack of understanding there. So, uh, yeah. So, let's start here. When you're playing Twitch, and we're going to be this side here now, okay? However, you can obviously just flip this and be red side. So, you just have to swap the knowledge or like swap the spots that I talk about, and it applies to the same on opposite side. Okay, so uh, with the yellow one as an example, something Rat said in his coaching videos when he's coaching jungle is that he likes the yellow one so he can ward the entries as an example or these points here, right? To prevent the enemy from invading him. Yes? So if he sees people coming into his jungle, he knows. But the disadvantage of this is that as an example, if you are on the grump, right? And you spot the enemy coming in, you will have to leave the grump. Because the enemy this means that the enemy might have had a ward here already, right? Which is typical. Like the jungler or top laner will ward this push here. Let me just call it these differently. So the yellow ones will be the enemy, right? The enemy might ward here, they might ward here, they might ward down here, they might even ward here, right? So the reason why the enemy even came into your jungle to begin with is because it was warded somewhere. And that's why I prefer the red one over the yellow one. Because although it's nice to know when they're coming in, the reason why they're coming in to begin with is because they have vision, most likely. However, of course, they will might or might try to invade you regardless. But that's just something you have to deal with. But it would really suck to be on the ground and have half HP in, and then be on a ward. Because when the enemy sees that you're doing grump and because of your clear speed, they're gonna want to invade you and like screw you up, and then there's nothing you can do because you will most likely die. Then or you'll have to leave it, right? But if they don't have vision at all, like the less information the enemy has, the better as Twitch, basically. 
So although, like Rat said, it's nice to like ward these entry points here with yellow. It's much better to prevent them from seeing you and having information. Because to begin with, then there'll be a 50% chance, most likely, that they either enter this side or they enter this side. So to begin with, with no information, which side they invade you on is 50%. And you might be on the opposite side of where they're going, right? Which is why that's better. And when it comes to the vision part, you can then buy a pink ward, right? And you can place it here, or you can place it here. Alternatively, I will very often ward this bush here, or either this one here, or this one. Okay? These are like the key spots in where you can ward, like either here, 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 or here. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't really do this side here to make it more clear. Either this bush, either that bush, or this one. Or you can ward here. I prefer personally to ward this bush, which will then be on opposite side here, or I prefer to put a ward on the pink here, or like in on the red. So then that will be here, right? So I'll always try to buy one pink, and I'll either put it in one of these places here. Then I'm gonna buy a red sweeper, and I'll sweep my own jungle. And my sweeper might, as an example, when I come from this side here. I'm going to start sweeping here, and then I'll manage to clear or check this bush here that is not watered, right? And then I'm also going to get to check this bush here. And once that is clear, it's mostly fine, because that allows me to take the red buff, and the two other ones aren't that much of a threat later in the game, and you are able to clear them very well. So it doesn't really matter. Because... In the start, you're mostly fine, as long as you don't get invaded on your red buff to begin with. You're usually fine. Which is why, to begin with, in the first level, you, you do take the yellow trinket. And then on your first recall, is when you will get the red one. Right? Because, as an example, you're either going to ward this bush here, when they're invading, or you're going to ward this bush here. Right? But you never... And I will just repeat this now, and this is something to remember. Never use your sweeper outside of your own jungle, okay? Like, almost never. Always prioritize having your jungle clear the vision, so you're able to walk freely, and then whatever else is outside of that is just something you have to deal with otherwise. Because that is the biggest threat to Twitch, is to get invaded in your jungle, and they get put far behind or you lose a lot of tempo. Because the key thing to Twitch is getting a small lead early game and then maintaining that lead through consistent farming and ganks once in a while with your level ultimate, uh, as an example, on bot lane, right? So the key thing with Twitch is to just have some form, shape of, of control of your own jungle, okay? And of course, yellow trinkets work, but it's much better to... Prevent the, able, prevent the enemy from being able to spot you at all than it is to have the enemy walk into your jungle and then see them, but they're walking into the jungle because they see you in the jungle doing a camp by half HP, right? So by eliminating the ward spotting you, you also eliminate the enemy invading you, okay? And if you do want some vision, then buy a red ward, red or pink ward, sorry, right? But there are obviously, as I said in the beginning, pros and cons of both. However, I hope you guys, after watching this, can understand why it's better to buy the red one. And just to top it off, at level 9, you obviously do get the blue trinket, right? But that's basically it. Always just focus your control or vision on your own territory, not on the enemy or when ganking, because you have your camouflage. So like these points here, you don't have to ward or do anything. You only do it within your own territory. And a good thing to try here and to also just look at is when you play a game, look through the first 10 minutes and then see where the enemy walks, where the provision in your jungle. And I can guarantee you that at least in one of three games, even in low elo now, in high elo it's going to be every game, but at least one of three games in low elo, you're going to have some jungler walk here and put a ward because you're playing Twitch. They're going to ward somewhere here in one or three games at least. Right? 
And that one of the three games where they have this ward and you don't clear it and they spoil you and kill you, that's when you lose. So by doing this, you're going to increase your win rate by a great amount because you're able to maintain your lead without getting put further behind because the enemy has vision on you and you're clearing the wards very slow because as I said, you're playing Twitch, right? So yeah, I do believe this is a very good trick to know, or not really trick, but something to be aware about when playing Twitch. So yes. Hope you guys have a good one. Continue to have a good one. And yeah, peace. Oh, I'm fucking drawing. Yeah, peace.